David Peralta has been a staple in the Diamondbacks outfield for the past seven years, but his path to the desert was an interesting one. As a teenager in Venezuela, Peralta's electric left arm attracted the eyes of scouts, specifically the St. Louis Cardinals, who signed him as a pitcher. After two mediocre seasons on the bump and a few shoulder surgeries later, the Cardinals released Peralta after pitching barely over 60 innings in rookie ball. He gave up on pitching and worked to develop himself into a hitter, something he'd excelled in prior to entering professional baseball when his focus shifted solely to pitching. He briefly returned back to Venezuela and played in some local leagues before his family encouraged him to return to the States and chase his dream of playing in the major leagues. When he was living in Florida, Florida, Peralta received the tryout from an indie ball team in Texas, but had no way to finance a trip there. He worked the overnight shift at McDonald's to earn enough cash to get himself to Texas and make the tryout, and ultimately earn himself a roster spot. He'd spend three years bouncing around independent ball leagues in the States to winter ball leagues in Venezuela before catching the eye of the Arizona Diamondbacks. They offered Peralta a private workout and signed him on the spot in 2013 almost a decade after the Cardinals had originally signed him as a pitcher. He'd spend just over 100 games in the minor leagues before being called up by the D-backs for good in 2014, where he's been a constant in the lineup ever since. This is the long and crazy journey the freight train took before reaching its final destination in Arizona. When he was growing up in Venezuela, David Peralta excelled as both an outfielder and a pitcher. As he matured, his fastball sat in the low 90s and he could get it up to as high as 95 miles an hour, and teams rightfully saw his electric arm as a more valuable asset than his bat. He was a solid contact hitter, but thought that he had a better shot at making it to the big leagues with his arm instead of his bat, and signed with the St. Louis Cardinals in September of 2004 as a pitcher for 35 grand. Arm and shoulder injuries gave Peralta a lot of trouble after he signed with the Cardinals, limiting him to just 9 innings in 2006 and 52 in 2000 in 2007. That blistering fastball he once possessed as a teenager now barely reached 90 miles an hour, and his shoulder was surgically repaired numerous times. In his two partial seasons and the 18 games in which he was able to pitch in, Peralta tallied a 2-6 record, accompanied by a 5.69 ERA and a 1.508 whip. He was effectively wild, racking up more than a strikeout per inning over the course of his minor league career, but he couldn't keep the runners off the base pass or prevent them from scoring. Injuries again would keep him off the mound in 2008, and the Cardinals gave up on him midway through the 2009 season. Five years and just over 61 innings after he was signed, Peralta was out of professional baseball, never making it above the rookie ball level. He returned home to his native Venezuela, where he relearned how to hit while he was still recovering from his second shoulder surgery. He began hitting in some local leagues in his native country, but then he returned to the US and lobbied for a tryout. He searched all over the country and finally landed a tryout with the Rio Grande Valley White Wings in Texas. He was thrilled, but quickly realized that he might not be able to make the trip. Peralta and his wife were living in Florida, and the trip to Texas was nearly 1,500 miles away, and the young couple was scrapped for cash. A mutual friend gave Peralta a temporary job at McDonald's, working the overnight shift in order for him to build up enough money to finance his trip. He quickly got the cash together, made his tryout, and earned himself a roster spot, this time as an outfielder. Peralta was now back in professional baseball, earning just around $500 per month from the White Wings. This would be the beginning of Peralta's indie ball journey. He'd hit 392 with 17 homers and 81 ribbies over 85 games for the White Wings in his first full season as a position player. He would use this excellent play to earn himself a contract with the Wichita Wignuts for the 2012 season, and would rake there as well. In 854 OPS with three dingers and 70 ribbies over 98 games for the wing nuts while swiping 25 bags showed that his production wasn't just a fluke and that he really could make it as a position player. Peralta, now 25, had proved that he could hit at the professional level and was looking to make the jump back to affiliated baseball. He'd had some tryouts and made some connections during his tour of the independent leagues, but was back in indie ball playing for the Amarillo Sox during the 2013 season. After 42 games, he was hitting to the tune of a 986 OPS with eight dingers and 38 ribbies, which was all the Diamondbacks needed to see. As they offered him a tryout and then eventually purchased his contract from the Sox, and he began his position playing career in high A for the Diamondbacks a week later. I want to thank all my parents, my family, my dad, my mom, my wife, everybody to be in support of me. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. I love you all. Peralta continued to rake an affiliated ball putting up a 904 OPS along with 8 dingers and 42 ribbies across 51 games for the Diamondbacks high A team in his first affiliated ball season as an outfielder. He'd proven that his stint in any ball was no fluke and that this failed pitcher was a legit hitting prospect. His dynamic play earned him a promotion to double A for the start of the 2014 season and he raked there as well. He got off to an explosive start in 2014 for the double A club 
hitting 297 with six dingers and 46 ribbies over his first 53 games before getting the call to the big league club on June 1st, 2014. After failing as a pitcher and grinding it out in indie ball and in the minors, David Peralta had finally made it to the major leagues. Once he got there, all Peralta did was hit. He opened up his career with a seven game hitting streak and had seven multi-hit games in his first 15 career games, tying a Diamondbacks franchise record. In 88 games in his rookie season, Peralta put up a 770 OPS, 112 OPS plus, to complement 8 homers and 36 ribbies. He'd follow that up with a solid sophomore season in 2015, leading the National League in triples with 10 as he earned the everyday left fielder job in Arizona. A wrist injury would eat up most of his 2016 season, but upon returning back to full health in 2017, he continued to produce. He topped his career year in 2017 with an even better year, setting new career highs in nearly every offensive category while taking home the National League Silver Slugger Award. The man who was once told to never pick up a bat again and stick to pitching was now one of the best hitters in Major League Baseball. His 2019 was limited due to injuries a bit, but he was recognized for his incredible defensive play with his first career gold glove 10 years after being released as a pitcher by the St. Louis Cardinals. After the 2019 season, the man who once had to flip burgers in order to just try out for an independent league team was rewarded with a three-year, $22 million contract from the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's safe to say he'll never have to worry about travel money again and won't be serving up Big Macs anytime soon. He continued to rake in 2020 and completed another stellar season for a struggling D-backs team, being the consistent bat the Diamondbacks have paid him to be. Since making his debut in 2014, Peralta has been one of the best left fielders in baseball, alongside some players who were high draft picks and established veterans who never had to go anywhere near indie ball. When managers or teammates talk about David Peralta, all of them say essentially the same thing, that they're blown away by his work ethic. His desire to learn and to be great at every aspect of the game resonates with them, as Peralta remembers where he came from and never wants to go back to working at McDonald's. He has the spirit of a grinder, of an indie ball player, and he wants to not only make himself better, but he wants to make his teammates and everyone around him better as well. David Peralta was on the verge of being just another failed pitching prospect, but his desire wouldn't let him. He knew he was destined for the major leagues, he just had to figure out his path to get there. After his release from the Cardinals, he jumped at any opportunity that came his way and produced all along the way. He showed that he could not only hit, but that he was one of the best hitters on the planet. He mashed his way from indie ball to affiliated ball to the major leagues, and he looks like he'll be a staple in the desert for a long time.